Hey Rad Reelers, JC here with Rad Reeling Fishing. Well, I'm down here on the busy, busy pinfish bridge again. Hopefully I'll get on some pinfish. But today, you guys, I put a camera inside of the pinfish trap. This is gonna be really cool. We'll be able to see these little guys come inside the trap. I got all kinds of like chum, I got bait, I got shrimp, I got jack mac, I got squid, I got my fishing pole, my ice cooler. I got it all, man. Let's see if we can get on some of these fish here and have some fun. Let's do this now. I still got my chum bag that I used last time, but I'm gonna put some of that jack mac in here. That's just a bunch of ground up shrimp. It's got some squid in there. It's got some uh, ground up fish. It's just old baits and stuff that I've saved like for months in the freezer. All right, I did a bad thing. I forgot my aerator. I'm gonna have to do the old fashioned way where you just stir up the water every now and then. I have to remember to do that so they don't die. We got the trap loaded up, the camera's on. And uh, let's give her a drop, man. The little squid tentacles work really good. Kind of like thread them on like a little earthworm. It's usually the bottom two hooks that get hit the most because they're closest to the bottom, I guess. There we go. Nice little pinner, nice, nice, nice. All right, baby. Oh my goodness, what do we got here? Oh, big, big puffer fish, man, big one. You guys, are these any good for bait? I asked that in the last video and nobody answered. Can these be used for bait at all? I should try that sometime. That's big. Isn't that neat? You ever see one of those? No. No? I see that on show. <laughs> see his teeth? <laughs> wow, you're seeing all sorts Can of I things. Can I touch him? Can I touch him right there? Hold on. Isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah. He's got pretty eyes too. All right, I gotta get my pliers for this guy. Got my freaking aerator, forgot my pliers. JC, so many things to remember. All right, let's get this guy undone here. Thing about these fish is I wonder if they can actually puff up when they're in the water. All right, thanks for the catch, little guy. See ya. There's, there's two manatees over here. Yeah, this little guy. Right? That's a pinfish. A pinfish? Yep, I'm catching him to use him for bait. Oh my God, they're all around the trap down there. They are all around the trap. It's all chummed up down there. As soon as it hit the water, I had two of them on there. Yeah, they just kept going as far as I know, yeah. Another puffer fish. Guys, this guy this this area is so busy with people I can't catch a break, man. 
Puffer, puffer. Thanks for the catch, bud. See ya. God, there are so many pinfish down there. I'm going to throw some chum down there. Oh, dang, man. Oh, baby. That's what I've been hoping for right there. Are you kidding? Finally got a big one. Awesome, dude. Awesome. Yes. All right, well, let's see if we got anything in the trap. Oh my God, man. We got the pinfish today, you guys. Woo! We have loaded up on pinfish today. Wow, really super good catch. All right, man, putting some more Jack Mac in there. We loaded up on pinfish on that go round. Another drop. Loaded up on them. I gotta, I gotta call them out now. Get rid of some of the little bitty guys. See these little guys like that. Gotta throw, throw those little guys back. Give these guys some fresh water before I leave. I got a pretty good catch of pinfish in there. Small ones. I wish they were all as big as that big one. Ice cold water jug, keep them cool. Get them going with some aeration. Well guys, I wanna show you what was going on inside of that pinfish trap with that Jack Mac Chum. Absolutely amazing, you guys. Now you saw, I just mixed that up with some some oats and then I put in a little bit of canola oil. Now, you know the charter boat guys, they're gonna tell you or you're gonna read, you know, to use manhaden oil because it gives it that extra scent and all that. Look, man, I'm just catching pinfish in a pinfish trap and the oil is just to help hold everything together. And I just kind of figured if I put some canola oil in there and mixed it all up, that canola oil, you guys, is gonna take on the oils that are in the Jack Mac stuff as well. So whatever oil slick that's gonna be created, it's gonna have that fragrance that the Jack Mac has in there. Yeah, it's a little bit diluted, but golly, man, that stuff is like strong smelling. But let me show you what was going on inside of that pinfish trap. It's absolutely amazing what those pinfish we're doing you guys um they were grabbing a hold of that little mesh bag whenever they started getting in there and they started getting in a little frenzy they were grabbing hold of that mesh bag and they were just shaking it and as they were shaking it all of these little just pieces of that jack mackerel were just just floating all in that all in the water there and they were just picking up the little pieces they weren't getting like the really big pieces of the jack mackerel skin and stuff but you'll see there they were just grabbing the itsy bitsy little pieces but they were just having a, a heyday in there we're having a jack mac day in there just grabbing a hold of that mesh bag and shaking it and that stuff just going all over the place then it's interesting to see how those pinfish were coming in and out of that trap they come in and go out come in and go out i don't know how many came in and how many of them went out but anyway they're just not very many big pinfish down there obviously these are just little guys and it almost looks like um they might be in a spawning season too because some of them look like they were just big old fat pinfish man well anyway you guys i'll put a link in the description area to this pinfish trap man this is really gonna make catching pinfish a whole lot easier you guys especially when i get into some larger pinfish it's gonna be awesome but this is gonna work you guys it's definitely gonna work all right so make sure you go over there get you a pinfish trap make you some jack mac chum you guys that stuff is absolutely amazing Thumbs up or appreciate it. Get out there and go fishing, man. Life is fun. Live it. See ya.